The collapse of World Trade Center Building 7 late in the day on 9-11 has been the subject of conspiracy theories virtually since the attacks. Well, today, the findings of a new report, years in the making, that tries to silence the doubters once and for all. Building 7 fell after 5 p.m. on 9-11, hours after the Twin Towers collapsed. And when it fell, it appeared to go down similar to how buildings fall in controlled demolitions like these. And no building that size, made of steel, had ever collapsed from a fire. These factors and others have led a lot of people, including even Rosie O'Donnell, to believe that a bomb brought down Building 7. Remember this from The View? I do believe that it defies physics for the World Trade Center Tower 7, Building mm -hmm. 7, which collapsed in on itself. It is impossible for a building to fall the way it fell without explosives being involved. Well, federal investigators have spent three years looking into the collapse. Here's what they say. What we found was an uncontrolled building fire similar to those we have seen in other tall buildings caused an extraordinary event. The collapse of World Trade Center 7 was primarily due to fires. The investigation found that debris from the collapse of the North Tower led to fires on 10 of Building 7's lower floors and that there was no way to put those fires out. The city water main had been cut by the collapse of the two WTC towers. So the sprinklers in Building 7 did not function for much of the bottom half of the building. The scientists admit that this collapse was unprecedented, but they say they're sure that fire was the cause and that the conspiracy theorists and everyone else should listen to them. The public should really, at this point, recognize that science is really behind what we have said. Now, given that a lot of the conspiracy theorists believe the U.S. government was actually behind the Building 7 collapse for some reason, it's unlikely that this U.S. government report is going to convince them that the mystery is solved.